Okay. This, my friends, is the Micro VR versus the Mark Base Big Bang. I just bought this used today. I haven't even plugged it in. So I'm going to do the same thing on each amp. Okay. I'm going to start with everything uh, down and flat. I'm going to get to where it clips and then turn up the volume about a quarter and then a half and then I'll EQ it. So I'll go uh, uh, VR, then mark bass, and then I'll dial in a sound on the VR and then I'll dial in a sound on the mark bass and uh, we'll see what's up. So, bam! And that clips right there. Back it down. That's it.
has 500 watts compared to you know 200 watts but instantly it has more low end and less high end just out the gate um, more low end and less high end but it sounds like sounds like a little more uh, low mid emphasis also so let's uh, sounding so let's switch it back and um, the fan seems pretty quiet too which is good hertz and uh, 800,000 hertz and this one has more like 250 hertz 200 uh, so 800 to a thousand and uh, about like 180 to 200 all right I'm gonna leave the master where it was actually I'm not gonna touch that all right so let's uh, dial in a sound real quick
Yeah. The answer to that is the micro drives. And uh, that's just a, it's just a good tone, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a little mid-range out, a little bass up, and a little treble up. Treble to taste, of course. Um, this thing has, has some good bite anyway. I just like to emphasize the high-high because there's no ultra-high switch on the micro. So, um, the fan gets rocking when you start cranking it, but uh, it cools down, see? And then the fan cools down. Um, you can't hear it. You really, you really can't hear it when you're playing. When you've got anybody else in the room, you can't hear the micro fan. So, now, let's uh, try the Mark Bass. I have a feeling I'm going to be dropping the lows on it, but we'll see. And then we'll see if it drives. a scratchy pot as you go back and forth you really don't need to spray anything in it you just need to work the pot scratchy as well back and forth back and forth it's a used amp it's not new so who knows uh how long it was sitting in the guy's room
Yeah, mm -hmm. these do. So this is a filter, and this is vintage loud speaker emulation. Mm -hmm. So let's see what these do. pretty easy instead of messing with all this so let's let's put this normal flat and let's just check out the mid scoop at all but it's like um it's like their uh treble might be set at a higher frequency so they give you this one so it rolls it down and you can still get some bite but at a lower frequency which is uh it's kind of cool i guess and then it's got a line out for the um uh, for the xlr and uh headphones i don't know it's pretty cool it sounds great that was that was simple leave everything dialed up turn up the the filter just a little bit and then uh, drop a little low mid. Features-wise, uh, Mark Bass wins. Power-wise, Mark Bass wins. Size-wise, Mark Bass wins. Tone, uh, you can be the judge. Oh, I didn't see if it drives. Let's check if it drives, guys. All right, let me turn the master down. Let's get this sucker cranked. Oh, yeah. It looks, it looks to me like it's limiting itself. You see that? Like it's got its own optical compressor in it. Let's see. Now, 
let's go back to the micro and give it one last hurrah. What you say? distortion it kicks a limiter on which is like a hard cut you can see the light. when that light comes on it, it hard cut squashes your signal so that's when all you do is you play too hard like that you find your sweet spot you play too hard like that you find your sweet spot that's max dude max for me the way i play is uh is like that so i guess you would say 11 uh 211 <laughs> so, you know what i mean sucker just sounds great. Driven.
something that is not common in solid state amps. totally different animals gotta say I like my little VR but um, I got this really just because it's a clean 500 watts by a good company you know what I mean so uh because uh, I really get my sound off my pedal board anyway you know and my fingers <laughs> and my strings and my pickups you know what I mean because that's my bass uh McNuggies is kind of out of commission right now. I'm waiting. Uh, my homie just sent me some pickups. So I'm waiting for those to come in and then I'll have that back up and running. But uh, yeah, that's it, dude. I like it though. I like it. Um, I think running into it will be good. It has a lot of flexibility just right in it. I can, uh, I can kill the box and I can add some bite. You know what I mean? And then, uh, yeah. 500 watts, it's clean, it's loud. So uh, I think it's a little too, a uh, little too uh, woofy, uh, flat though. Either drop some bass, some low mid, clean up the low end on it. And then uh, that, just that little bit of high mid seemed to, seemed to add it back where I, I kind of like it. But it, it seems like there, it takes a lot of treble to, to get it to a good level, but you know. I'll play with that one. I really like this uh, this varial pass filter. I think that is a great great idea um, to where it's it's a controllable ultra low and ultra high. You're not just stuck with with uh, what the switches do. You just dial it in, kind of like it, it's kind of like the contour, like the voicing, like the voicing knob on uh, Mesa's. And uh, I don't know. I thought it sounded really good. So uh, yeah. Later.